A special presentation of an all-new Rescue 77. Hold your positions, people. Go in here. A rescue under fire. Why is he still shooting? I'm gonna split his leg. We're gonna get him in the clear. A station. Hey, get over here. Held hostage. Hey, we need to answer that. People are hurt. I said no. And now, a powerful all-new Rescue 77. He's hanging in midair. Right, I want this truck as close to that line as you can get it. Let's go, quick. Yes, sir. On us up. Let's get this kid back to earth. Let's go. All right, move it up, move it up, move it up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good, good. all the time. Really? Well, enough to get it right. Hey, what are you going to do to be a fireman? Get your diploma and sign up for the test. Uh, at the station? Yeah. Just pick up a form. Station's good for all kinds of things. Ask for directions, uh, register to vote. It's a county safe house of people in trouble. From, uh, you know, lost tours to battered wives. My name is Wick, and I'm gonna get you down, okay? I just need you to stay calm. This is gonna be over before you know it, all right? Okay. Just, I don't know if I can hold off. No, you can hold on to this, all right? You just gotta, don't look down, okay? Just look. Ah! Oh! 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 Yes, you did. <laughs> See you in a drive. There's school spirit, and then there's school spirit. What I'm saying is, is that I wouldn't have risked my neck for my high school. Really? I had you figured for the football star who lives and dies for the team. Well, for the team, yeah, but not for the school. That's because people support teams, not schools. Football, baseball, the debate team probably had its own fan club. 
take it from a former captain of the debate team. Nobody supported us. You were on the debate team? Yeah, why do you think you never win an argument? Huh. Rescue 77 on the radio, chest pains, 3390 Santa Monica, cross Donovan, timeout 1039. Well, piggyback calls, it's not even 11. Must be Tuesday. Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Thanks, Gloria. Uh, cry wolf. That's two words. But it's seven letters. No, it starts with a B and ends with O O. Uh, boo. Oh, very helpful. So we're back in Little Leningrad. That's yeah, named St. Petersburg now. It's Bugaboo. It's my grandfather. This way. Look No, thank you. Go ahead. Help him. No, thank you. He doesn't want treatment. You can't help him if he refuses. Don't listen to him. He's been having pain in his chest, but he won't see a doctor. It's a matter of pride. Pozwól nie skłoka minut. Kacze wyczoru wariatka. Nie! Oni przyjechali tak daleko, posłuszy twoje serce. Ja nie chcę przepuścić. Rescue 41, gunshot victim in 77th district, 798 Piro Drive, Cross Thomas, time out 1048. That's five blocks away, man. We can take that. Rick, we haven't been released from this call. What, from family feud? Are you kidding me? The gunshot wound to bleed out before 41 even gets there. It's five blocks away. He needs your help. Try again, please. I survived Stalin. I'm okay. His pulse is strong. His color looks good. Seems alert. He's oriented. A little combative. Happy to have. That's it then. Let's go. You can't leave. He's in trouble. Ma'am, we can't... You can't leave. Can I talk to you? Somewhere else? And you would open your Ma'am, your grandfather is refusing treatment, okay? And that's his right, but... Every time I try to call you, he leaves the house. I get so angry, I don't even... I don't think you understand, though, okay? If we are here, then we can't be somewhere else. Of course I understand. No, I don't think you do, okay? Someone's been shot near here, and another ambulance had to make the call. That was our call. Somebody's bleeding in our district, and we're sitting here listening to you two argue about who's more stubborn, you or him. A little piece of advice. Next time, get your granddad's permission first. Any guesses where the cry wolf story came from? The hated evil RA-27. Morning, girls. Oh, well, it's not the Mary Medics or the 7-7. What are you guys doing in our district, man? Trying to log on some more runs, get back to Golden Axe? Yeah, we just dropped your O2 bottle back by your house. What? You know, the one you left at the Hauser bus crash. We didn't handle that crash. Gee, you're right, you didn't. Well, well then what did we leave at the 7-7? I have a very bad feeling about this. If the station was empty, the two sevens could have planted a booby trap anywhere. Yeah, but we've looked everywhere. Now, see, we're missing something. I mean, remember, when the two sevens replaced our New York vanilla with mashed potatoes? Oh, I do. Or when they filled our turnout boots with rotten eggs? No, no, no. The two sevens take their time with a prank. Like a lioness from the Transvaal sitting, motionless, waiting until they see a weakness in the herd. 
perfect chink in our armor. To bed. Of course. Nothing. Yeah. I want hated evil 27's head. I want revenge. I want revenge. Cold, merciless revenge must be exacted. You understand me? What are you doing here? Just came by to say... See? Well, you are the master, man. They cannot find that. My God! They're taking the whole house apart. So, what did you do? What did you leave in there? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you have found a new level of perversity, my brother. I'm proud of you. <laughs> City Base Rescue 77, we have an adult male unconscious. Airways clear. Oxygen saturation is only at 69%. BP's bottomed out, I got 90. BP is 90. Any cause apparent? Did the guy fall? Uh, victim does not appear to have. Stand by, City Base. Victim seizing. Okay, city base victim is an epileptic. 7-7, seven, seven. is the victim still seizing? Negative, city, uh, seizure activity minimal. City base copy, 7-7, seven, seven, administer 1-amp diazepam, watch for toxicity. Wait a second, wait a second, maybe he's even lower. Epileptic seizure wouldn't affect his BP. If he's having petite mal, what's the story on the swollen nodes? Rescue 7-7, seven, seven, confirm 1-amp diazepam. 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, city base, symptoms of respiratory distress and swollen lymph nodes. We do not believe this is epilepsy. What, am I talking to Wick? Brian, administer the diazepam now. I got a snake bite. I'll get the kit. Rescue 77, administer the diazepam now before the patient has another seizure. Diazepam for a snake bite, huh? Snake bite? I got it! Looks like he killed it with a shovel. You're saying that the venom's hemotoxic, anti-seizure meds is only gonna make the Rattler's job easier. Now you can eat those things.
Quick. Woman called a station this morning, a Russian woman. Said she wanted to file a complaint regarding your behavior. Well, I think I know that must have been. Well, I told her she can come down, but I didn't have the appropriate forms in stock. Wouldn't have them for another 24 hours. That's 24 hours, Lobo. this morning as a member of the Los Angeles Fire Authority if I or my associates appeared in any way insensitive to the needs of you and or your grandfather then I apologize uh, it was not my intention I'm sorry you call that an apology yeah yeah I do I heard it but I didn't see it well, I was going to try to get Tom Cruise to come over and deliver it with some real emotion, but he didn't return my calls. We pay you to help us, not to make jokes. No, no, no. We're paid to take care of people, okay? Problem is, is your neighborhood's not letting us do it, all right? If we're not down here on, on a call for a sick dog, then we're down here to, to iron out some beef between neighbors, all right? We're not the pound and we're not the UN, okay? We're an emergency medical services. We got a call. So we're wasting your time then, is that it? It must have been some apology. Task Force 77, be advised that this is the fire alarm at Langworth High School. Rescue their high flying cheerleader, and then some future offender calls in a false alarm. What a surprise! Park. Hey, put the alarm and somebody to sit down! 
single gunshot wound, possible fever fracture. Why is he still shooting? Uh, rescue 7 7, we're in the middle of an MCI, relay to base. Listen to me, man, do you know who's shooting? How bad is he? Access to other victims is difficult. We'll send information as available. I got it! I'm rolling! Rescue 77, LA Max been notified. Man. I'm gonna split his leg using the mass unit. We're gonna get him in the clear. Okay, listen, we're gonna put a little pressure on the wound. Stop the bleeding, all right? Yeah. Right, let's pop him up, pop him up. One Catch more shot. One more. Head. Go, go. Go, head right, head right. To the left. Suspect's gone. Repeat, suspect's gone. Get <laughs> Some time. I need you to help me split this guy's arm. I'm sorry. You're short on our ends. Uh-oh. Hey! Okay. Sorry, guys. This is off limits. Thank you. You too. You look like you could use a break. I'm off at eight. That's four hours before you come on again. Maybe we Grab can... an egg McMuffin? No. No, no, I am so sick of getting 10 minutes here and 10 minutes there. I want a date. I want a real date with, with flowers and pretty and, and a stuck-up waiter and lobster on the menu. No drive sir. Lobster. <laughs> That's true, the shooter is still at large, but the department is moving on a number of leads, and needless to say, any additional information would be welcome. That's all we have to say at this time, so thank you. All right, thanks. Can you believe any of this? Ah, oh, the world's gone crazy. Lieutenant Petrie said the bullets were still flying when you treated those kids. You don't look any worse for wear. No. <laughs> I'm still a shuddering mass of adrenaline, believe me. Kathleen, the city doesn't pay enough to risk your neck like that. <laughs> you know, not medics, they don't. So are you doing okay? Yeah. I'm getting along. Thanks for asking. So those kids, the victims, did any of them see anything? Did they say anything to you? No, no, they were too shaken up. I'm sorry. So, I was at the uh, Rose Bowl flea market last Sunday and I ran across some English teacups. I couldn't remember the pattern at your place, but, well, I took a chance. That's nice, Ken. Thanks. Run them by sometime? You know the address. It's good seeing you again. guy's either a bad shot or everyone got lucky. <laughs> My coach thinks I should start applying for scholarships. Maybe I shouldn't be in such a hurry, huh? Anyone know who did this? Lobster Thermidor tonight. I'm sorry, so can I have the lobster? Okay. Uh, all right, the veal medallions with hazelnut hollandaise. That looks good. I'm gonna have that. I served the last order that not more than five minutes ago. Uh, I see. Well, I guess that leaves the um, 
Sloppy Joe. Could I have that served open face, please? If so, Madam Desires. <laughs> I am so glad that you arranged this. I told you I'd figure something out. It helps to know where to get a table at the last minute, even if the service is a little snooty. Just the way I wanted it. The vintage the madam ordered. Thank you. Soda. Orange. 98. And fermented. A very, very good year. Here is to a wonderful evening. Finally. No! Oh. Excuse me, can I see a manager? Because I definitely did not order this. I'm sorry. This was nice. Brief, but nice. Is this check, my love? No. Bridges, charbroiled s'mores, aren't bad for dessert, despite the namesake. Uh. L.A. Rescue 7, 7, responding to person down, but no one's answering the door. Uh, confirm address, 6640 Euclid, number 10. Request PD backup to secure. Rescue 77, caller indicates they're immobile and can't reach the door. Kids ready to rodeo? Go for it, man. Hello? Well, that's got to be a record. There's nobody here. Hello? Check that bedroom. Check that door over there, all right? Lose something? Hey, cat. What are you doing, Ken? You did call for a PD backup, right? Check everywhere, all right? I want you to look for book bags, clothing, jackets, movie stubs, anything, right? right? Yo, yo, what, what, what's going on here? We ID'd the kid at Langworth this morning, the shooter. Our tip says he's been staying here with a friend. Unfortunately, no one's been answering the phone all afternoon. Hey, man, you guys got search warrants? Try getting a judge to give you papers after four on a Friday. Since you were here on a medicist anyway, I figured we'd look around. So you called 911? Wait a second. We just broke into someone's apartment because you didn't want to go through the proper channels? There's a kid with a gun running around out there. Now, no one died at the school this morning, but what about next time? Look, I sure as hell don't want to wait and find out. Listen, we all want that kid caught, man, but you can't keep doing this to us. You can't use us as your personal battering ram because you're too lazy to get to the judge in time to get a warrant. Lazy. This is important, Cat. It's always been important with you, Ken. The trouble is, it's always been wrong. Wrong? Getting a shooter off the streets is wrong? You just don't get it. <laughs> oh, Wick, you little snake in the grass. Look at him, look at him. Sitting there all calm and passive like he's got something. He doesn't know. No, no, no. Wick, you're bluffing. I can see. Hey, what am I going to do? I'm going to see your one repair on apparatus window, and then I'm going to raise you one first in on a chlorine spill. <laughs> I'll see your first in on a chlorine spill, and I'll raise you a pool bottom dead body retrieval. What? Let me explain something to you, okay? If you're the type of person that actually calls the bank if the ATM machine actually spits out an extra 20. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I mean, it's not your fault, it's just genetic, you know what I mean? And it makes you a good person, but a bad bluff. So, I'm gonna see pool bottom dead body retrieval, was it? Yes. <laughs> and to you, little boy blue, I'm gonna say that, uh, how about a uh, station rep at the city, sponsored community oh. diversity seminar. Yeah, I call, oh. I call, I call, I call. Oh. This one's for getting shot at. This one's for ex-boyfriends. That detective with a strange idea on search and seizure? One more time and we should start demanding paychecks from the PD. You know, I remember back when I was a probie in Brentwood. Had this structure fire. 
Kevin needs someone to break into the condo next door. Check for spread. So I popped the door. He walked in. Turns out he only wanted to check out the portion of the garage. And he said what to do with Fisher? Nothing. I just knew if I talked long enough, he might stop popping those aspirins. Rescue 77, chest pains, 3390, Santa Monica, cross Donovan, timeout, 2147. Joe Russian guy. It's my pot. Oh, we will come. It's my pot, right? Whatever. Whatever. Right? How you guys want to do this, man? You want to fight first or what? Hey, you awake? You awake? You awake? Well. Seven, seven. We have a 74-year-old male, unconscious, experiencing V-fib, commencing protocols. Rescue 77, copy. IV's in. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Full amp Effie on board. One, two, City base rescue seven seven. We have one amp FBI on board. Patient still in deep bed. One. Please, two. if you don't back away, we're all going to be electrocuted. Back up. Two hundred joules clear. Clear. Still deep in. Take the bag. Listen, listen. Does he have any favorite music? You know, like a favorite song or something? Like that? Oh, but he can. No, no, no. Hearing is the last thing to go. Okay, so do, trust me. Trust me on this. Three hundred joules clear. I clear. Clear. He's converted. City base, rescue seven seven. Strike that, strike that. Back in B fib. Come here, come here, come here. You gotta keep talking to him. But what do I say? I don't know. Talk, 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 talk about tomorrow or something. Talk about, talk about his, his going to the barber shop. I don't know. Talk about, talk about the boyfriend that you have that he doesn't like that you're gonna have. To, I don't just talk to him. All right. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Three hundred sixty joules. Clear. Clear. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. I see Sinus Brady. Check the pulse. I got BP-60 palpated. City base, rescue 7-7. Seven, seven. He's converted. We have sinus bradycardia, BP is 60 palp. Uh, pulse rate is 34. Request dopamine. You guys got room for one more? We're getting all the theaters overflow tonight. Every single cardiac bed is full. Hit left, left. All right, can one of you guys take him up to the monitor for me? Yeah, I got it. Well, dinner was an experience. <laughs> uh, hope you didn't tip too much. Didn't have to. Interestingly enough, the waiter ducked out right behind you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, though. Just the effort meant a lot to me. in to listen to it. But a big gasoline truck came screaming right across the road. The 
But there must have been 10, 15 of those things chasing after it. Grabbing and holding on. Now I can see them at first. Yeah, this room looks pretty secure. If we have to, we can run in here and board up the doors. Won't be long for those things be back pounding their way in here. They're afraid now. yesterday at school. Right. Anyhow, that's where I found that truck I had out there. Can I put that someplace for you? Okay. Rescue 77. Seven. What the hell's going on, man? You, you tell me. 3400 Franklin, Cross Avenue, Hannah. Hey! Hey, get over there with him, you too! Come on, move it, let's go, let's go, join the fun! Come on, get over here! Let's go, come on, come on. Get over there! You're the ones from school, right? Yeah. I remember what you said about uh, every fire station kind of being like a hideout. Safe house. That's right, a safe house. A safe house. Some place a guy can just chill out for a while. Man, try running all day long, you know? Not attract any attention to yourself. I guess I should have used a smaller gun, huh? One that fits in your pocket, maybe. Listen, guys, I'm sorry about the windows in your fire truck. So what's your name? Doesn't matter. Look, the kids you shot, they're all gonna be okay. Right, if you just turn yourself in now. Rescue 77, respond to dispatch. Listen, we, we really need to answer that. What do we do about it, huh? What are we going to do about it? I don't know. You ever been to the dog park, man? You know, on the hill? All these little dogs running around. Sometimes a coyote slips in there, but nobody ever notices. And where do you think that thing goes when it gets cold and dark? Home. Yeah, but that's where it's the worst. You guys got a soda. I could really use a soda right now. You know, nobody died yesterday. That makes a difference. It makes all the difference. Okay, we need to answer that. You have to tell them to send another RA. Uh-uh. No way. People are hurt. Hey, I said no! Rescue 77, out of service. Thank you very much. How about a large order of fries to go with that soda? What are we gonna do about it? You keep saying that. Yeah, I do. You wanna know why? It's because you're a good-for-nothing loser. You know, next to Tyler, your mother is sick to look at you. So what are we gonna do about it, huh? Or what, you don't like a little nighttime drive to the desert? What are we gonna do about it, huh? Oh, 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 it hurts sometimes, you candy ass, huh? What are we gonna do about it, huh? What? What? You know what? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do about it. I'll take that soda now! Listen, man, in, a, in an hour, the A-shift shows up. That's 13 new guys. If this station doesn't answer another dispatch, they're going to send more than one cop here to check it out. What do we do about it? Answer it. Come on, answer it. Is 
Station 77? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, get down! You two, get down! Get down, everybody, get down right now! Drop your weapon! Get down! Hey, did you hear me? I said get down! Drop your weapon! Listen to me, son. You did the right thing by coming here. That's all business helping people. You want to call your parents? We have a phone. You want a soda? We have a fridge. It's about what you want. But don't take this any further. Please. Let me have the gun. Things are going to be okay. No, they won't. I'm not Tyler. Hey, I said get down! Go! Go! We start baking before the sun rises, so there is bread when we open our doors. It looks like you work the same hours. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I checked you at the hospital. Uh, I'm glad to hear your granddad's doing okay. Hmm. Then I held his hand and when I sang to him, I felt like a girl again. When he was not so stubborn and so proud. <laughs> and neither was I. You're the one that brought him back. Not us. Fred, oh. for your station. Thanks a lot. What do we got here? Like bread. Uh, can, well, can I offer you a firehouse breakfast? Actually, it's the least I can do. This I really have to get back to work. I'm already late. Well, maybe some other time then. I would like that. Tonight's episode of Rescue 7-7 included music from Fastball. <laughs>